Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to sublimate some earrings for the very first time. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on that notification bell so that you know when I upload new content. I'm so excited to learn this with you. This is the first time that I've ever sublimated uh, earrings before. So let's get into it. Um, I went ahead and printed out uh, four images because I am going to sublimate these earrings front and back and um, I will leave the information on what type of sublimation printer I have in the description. And I got these uh, sublimation blanks from an Etsy shop um, and I call her Miss Tasha and uh, the Etsy shop is called Uniquely Yours by L-A-N and I'll put her link in the description as well. Great customer service. I will be ordering from her again. Uh, these are three inch round sublimation uh, blank earrings and uh, she includes uh, the fish hooks and the jump rings. So everything that you need as far as the hardware goes is right here for you and she's very 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 reasonable her sublimation blanks uh, run from one and a half to three inches uh, in size and they run from a dollar 25 to two dollars a pair so I think that is very reasonable alrighty so I am just going to start cutting out uh, the image for the uh, first earring. Now, keep in mind, I had never sublimated earrings before. This is the first time that I've ever uh, used uh, uniquely by uh, uniquely yours by land um, items, and so I just didn't know what the quality was going to be. Um, I didn't know how this was going to sublimate at all. As a matter of fact, I didn't even know if I was going to be able to sub on both sides of the, um, of the earrings. Um, so I was, <clears throat> I was just kind of winging it as I went along uh, because I don't believe that there are any mistakes. I just believe that there are learning opportunities all right so when you uh, sublimate your images uh, when you print out your images on sublimation paper and I'll have to leave the uh, sublimation paper uh, type that I use in the description as well uh, make sure that you flip your image or mirror your image uh, when you uh, when you print it out so that it prints on the right side um, my image here on the video is actually flipped and mirrored. So what you would actually be seeing is a flipped image. And you'll also notice that uh, the sublimation, when you print out on sublimation paper, it looks uh, pretty uh, dull. Uh, but that is just the nature of it. Once the heat uh, gets to it, the colors become vibrant. So I'm just lining this up as a as best I can. Um, I think that next time I sublimate this particular image on this size earring, I will make the image just maybe about an eighth of an inch uh, bigger. Right now, uh, this is a three by three um, image that I printed out. And I probably should have left a little bit more to hang over and have it not so close to the edge on a round earring. But you do live and you learn. Um, so I realized here while I was putting the image on that I was going to have an issue with not getting the image all the way over. Um, but we'll just keep on going and see how it turns out. So I'm just trying to get the best measurement that I possibly can. Um, 
my image is a little bit offset uh, so the, her face is not right in the middle of the circle and so I'm trying to in my mind I'm trying to compensate for that as well as trying to get some of the words that are in her hair uh, as, as many as possible on that image all right so we've got one done and we're going to go ahead and cut out the next image and we are going to do the same thing for the next airing I thought that this that I would try uh, my first time sublimating I uh, on the earrings I wanted it to be uh, I got the most vibrant color image that I could find <laughs> so uh, I just wanted to really put these sublimation blanks to the test uh, with vibrant colors um, and I'll tell you the truth while I was doing this I was so nervous because uh, even though you will make mistakes and you will mess up sometimes uh, you know making mistakes is money and even though they were what a, a do dollar or about tw two dollars a piece for a pair it's not a lot but you know you mess up ten times and then what do you have <laughs> so I was a little bit nervous I was not quite sure um, but I'm very glad that uh, I had the opportunity to uh, go ahead and try this on camera and all right so we're getting that all lined up as best as I can I have to say that my husband did say you should make that a little bit bigger and uh, he was absolutely right had I made it just an eighth of an inch bigger um, it would have worked out a little bit better and when you are sublimating what I'm putting on is I'm taping it down uh, with heat resistant tape and I found my heat resistant tape on Amazon and when you are um, sublimating you are dealing with very high heat if you notice you can see a burn on my hand that was not there in my last video I had an accident <laughs> and so you have to be very very careful uh, with dealing with the high heat uh, the heat press is set at 400 degrees and the 400 degrees I am going to press these earrings at 400 degrees for 60 seconds and I know it seems like a lot uh, but it needs to be on very high heat and medium to heavy pressure all right so we're just gonna go ahead and press that and I am pressing I have my timer set to 60 seconds and it's so hot in the workroom so hot you can just see my clothes blowing <laughs> All right, so went ahead and fast forwarded a bit. I would advise that if you are, if you don't, first of all, I would advise that you let it cool a little bit before you take the tape off so that you don't get burned because it will be hot. And oh my goodness, look at the vibrancy in that color. These sublimation blanks are amazing. Look at how that color popping I at this point I was no longer nervous I was completely excited I didn't know if it was gonna sublimate on the other side as well as the what um, once I got finished but um, at this point I'm just completely excited because the colors just 
so I was very happy about that very very happy and they look really really good I think they look great they are looking really really good and so now that I know that that worked well we're gonna go ahead and do the other side of the earring now I went ahead and sped this part up because it's just the exact same process that we just went through so I just took uh, and cut out my images I'm gonna tape them to the back side with the heat resistant tape alrighty there's earring number one And we are taping up earring number two. Um, what I'm doing is taking a microfiber cloth and making sure that there are no particles of lint um, or any type of debris. Uh, that's very important when you're sublimating, uh, especially if you are sublimating. My, my image has a lot of color, but if it didn't uh, it would be very very easy um, for uh, the lint particles to transfer color where you don't want the color so that's not good all right so I am heat pressing this uh, for 60 seconds now please notice that I did put butcher paper down and that is because when during the heat heating process the pressing process there is moisture and you can see that that ink uh, kind of steams out and it'll stain your pad or whatever um, you have on your heat press so you want to make sure you put down butcher paper and so now I'll have to turn my pad over and use the other side but as you can see they it's sublimated absolutely beautiful on the other side as well and now I'm going to show you how to install the hardware on the earrings. So these are my uh, pliers, jewelry pliers. You can get them at Michaels, you can get them at Amazon. I've seen them at Walmart, um, any place that Joann's where there's uh, crafting supplies, uh, you will probably see uh, these pliers. And if you wear jewelry, you should always have a pair or two. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a jump ring. She is so sweet for including jump rings with her sublimation blanks and, and uh, fish hooks. So awesome. I, I'm definitely favoriting this Etsy shop. So take the jump ring with one of the pliers and the other pliers. And what you want to do is while you're uh, twisting to the front with one hand, you're going to be twisting to the back with the other hand you never want to take the, the jump ring and just pull them apart left to right all right so we put the fish hook on and then we just close it back up and you always do it with the twisting motion never a pulling or pushing that's how you keep it in a nice circle okay and then we're going to do it again All right, you find the middle where the jump ring is split, okay, and you twist forward with one hand and backwards with the other, just gently. All right, that's how you open it. Okay, and then you're gonna take the earring and hook it onto the jump ring, and then you're gonna take your fish hook, and you are going to put the fish hook on, and then you're going to take your pliers and twist up and backwards with both hands and close it up. And there you have it. They are so gorgeous. I am so excited. They are so gorgeous. I got different shapes. I cannot wait to sublimate more. Aren't they cute? So vibrant and 
beautiful. I love the glossy shine. These earrings are everything. Make sure you check her out if you want to try these sublimation earrings for yourself. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Visit my website www.imaniabydesign.com and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, click on subscribe, like, share, and we will see you next time. Thank you.